For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with precious or with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. I mean, that's first Peter chapter one, verses 18 and 19 and first John chapter two, verse two, both out of the new international version. Good morning to all of you thriving people of God. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks, and I thank God for you being here with us today on this marvelous Monday. Yes, what a wonderful way for you to start your day, holding fast to your commitment to pray. We believe at Thrive, a church that prays together is a church that will thrive together. And that's why we started this podcast called the Prayer 365 Podcast, where we are on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. I want to celebrate each of you that took the time to join us this past weekend, uh, that joined us for Saturday prayer at the altar. We had a powerful, powerful gathering on Saturday morning as we prayed. Amen. And then we came together on Sunday for our Sunday worship experience. And I tell you, we were blessed in so many ways. One of those ways is that we got a surprise visit from uh, my grandmother. She actually popped in on us and she was able to come in and worship with us yesterday but we thank God that he is a he's a, a sovereign God that is always in control of every outcome no matter what the devil throws at you I want you to know that God is yet in control amen all right so Today we're going to dive into our devotional, amen Before we do so, I just want to kind of remind us of this past Sunday's message This past Sunday's message, we talked about the hope of healing And the hope of healing, we find healing only because of one reason And that is because of the blood of Jesus Yes, it is the blood of Jesus that brings us healing Yes, it's because of his stripes, because of the crushing of his flesh It was torn open as a sacrifice for each of us And it's by his stripes that we are healed It's by his stripes that we were healed Yes, my brothers and sisters, that's how we receive our healing And that's where the hope of healing lies Not just for the physical, not just for for the relational, not just for even even the, the mental, but for the ultimate healing. Yes, the spiritual healing happens because of the sacrifice of Jesus. So this week, we're going to take a look at the blood of Jesus. So I want you to say aloud, type it in the comment section, say nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes, my brothers and sisters, that's a song that we that we would sing. It's a song that I love so much. It's a song that 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 reminds us of the power and the efficacy of the blood of Jesus. Even another one says that it will never lose its power. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now, when we're talking about the blood of Jesus and we're talking about uh, the fact that his blood, it actually brings us healing. The reason why he's able to do that is because there's this sickness that's been running through the earth for such a long time um, since the since man made its first mistake uh, through um, disobedience eating of the fruit or the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And that was the first sin. And that brought the introduction of sin into the world. God gave him a very, very strict instruction, very plain and simple instruction. He said, the day that you eat of that fruit, you will die. The fruit that specifically from that one individual tree, you have all the rest. But that one specifically, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the day you eat of that fruit, you will die. And the reason why we know this to be truth also is because in Romans chapter six, verse 23, we understand that the wages of sin is death. Yes, the result of sin 
is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Yes, so when God gave his son as the sacrifice for our sins, or as one would say, the propitiation of our sin, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, what God did, my brothers and sisters, is he covered the cost. There was nothing else that we could do to truly cover the cost of our sin. So God did what man could not do. And it was nothing but the blood that could cover the cost of our sin. I want you to think about this throughout the rest of this day. No matter what it is that either you've done in your past or you've done in your present, uh, as many times we try to do everything we can to make up for it. But the truth is, all we have to do is to receive that free gift from God. He's the one that covered the cost. He he paid the ultimate cost for our sins. And all we have to do is to receive the gift of the sacrifice of Jesus and we can allow the blood to work in our lives. You don't have to go and try to make up for everything that you've done in your life. I know there are times when we have to go and clean up what we done messed up. Y'all remember that song, Starting My Life Over Again? There are times that we have to go and do some cleaning, but you can never pay the cost for your sin. For so many of us, we're in a church trying to earn our space with God. Baby, you don't have to earn that. God already covered the cost. You don't have to serve on seven boards or seven auxiliaries in order to to try to pay your way into the kingdom of God. No, no, no. God covered the cost. He did. You don't have to go and, 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 and go and, and do all this crazy stuff in relationships. No, no, no. God covered the cost. He did, my brothers and sisters. He covered the cost of our sin. And if I just talk about Enrique Dante Brooks' life, oh, yes, I thank God that he covered the cost because the cost was too high for me to try to cover myself. So today on day one, of nothing but the blood in our in our podcast this week our prayer podcast this week i want you to understand that the blood of jesus it covered the cost so let's pray today let's pray that we would live thankful that we would live grateful that we would live mindful that it was only the blood of jesus that covered the cost for all of our sin that covered the cost for our healing that covered the cost for our redemption that covered the cost for each of our lives let's pray today father we give you praise and we honor you father we magnify your holy name and father we ask you to forgive us today of all of our sin lord cleanse us of all unrighteousness because lord we know that somewhere we have fallen short of the glory of god If we understand this, God, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through your son, Jesus Christ. Father, we receive that gift of the blood of Jesus in our lives, knowing that you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And God, we say thank you for that. And Lord, we just want to tell you as we start off our week, we want to set the tone for our week with an attitude of gratitude. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for what your son did on Calvary. Lord, we thank you for your grace. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for every way that you've made and every way that you're going to make ahead of us this week. Father, we thank you for that God, we're not only going to meet our goals, but God, we're going to exceed our goals. And Lord, we give you thanks today. Father, our request today is that each of us would walk in the truth, knowing that it's nothing but the blood that covered the cost for our sin. Father, let us live grateful. Father, help us to be mindful of the blood of Jesus. Help us to be mindful of the cost of the sacrifice. Help us to be mindful of what you did so that we might live. Father, we give you praise today. 
And Lord, we honor your holy name. I pray that my sister will learn that you cover the cost that she doesn't have to overcompensate. I pray that my brother would learn that you covered the cost that he doesn't have to overcompensate. I pray that that child would know that you covered the cost and they don't have to make themselves seem like something that they are not. No, Father, you covered the cost for their sin. Shame has no power over our lives. Guilt has no power over our lives because, Lord, you covered the cost. And God, as we close out this prayer, we pray the way that Jesus taught us to pray. And we say, our Father, who art in heaven, holy is your name. Yes, Lord, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And Lord, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and all of God's children to say amen. God bless you all. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church. I thank God for you being here with us today on this marvelous Monday. Remember, God did not make you to just get by. He didn't make you to barely make it nor to struggle or strive, but God created you to thrive. I want to remind us that we do have the devotional available every morning or every day on our website at thrive.church forward slash prayer 365. You can follow along with us there, but meet us here tomorrow at the same time, 6.30 a.m. God bless you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.